as I mentioned before, Batumi is a city of contrast, and today we will see it from both sides again. Here, the ancient and the modern coexist in the perfect harmony. The huge luxury skyscrapers on the seafront contrast with the streets and squares of the old city, where you can breathe its history. There is a massive project that the government is passionate about. It's the Ambassador Batumi Island, the creation of two artificial peninsulas and one island that will host modern resorts for wellness and recreation in the city seaside area. Argo Cable Car is a cultural entertainment center located on Anuria Mountain, 250 meters above sea level. It offers spectacular views on the town, the Black Sea and the surrounding mountains. The complex includes restaurants, cafes, shops, open-air halls and roof terraces. The length of the cableway is 2,586 meters and the height is 256 meters. 28 seated gondolas are moving constantly and it takes about 15 minutes to get to the upper deck. Return ticket price is 30 lari, which is about $11. The beach strip in Batumi stretches along the entire coast of the bay, from Batumi Seaport to Batumi International Airport. The total length of the beach is more than 10 kilometers, and the width in some part is 30-50 meters. Even it's not a season to swim on the beach, it's definitely one of the main attractions in the city to go for an evening walk and to enjoy the sunset. Holy Trinity Church is a Georgian Orthodox Church sitting on top of the Mount Trinity, surrounded by the vastness of nature and located 8 kilometers from Batumi. Originally, a church was built on this site in the mid-19th century, but the building you see today was restored in 2002. The grounds also contain a an nunnery and a large viewing platform that looks out in the direction of the Black Sea. The church consists of two temples that were built on the donation of Shalva Breus, a Georgian businessman from Russia, who was awarded the Order of St. George for his contribution.
around 40% of Ajarians follow Islam. Batumi is one of the few places in Georgia where you can hear the call to prayer hanging over the rooftop from Batumi's central mosque. One of my favorite things to do in Batumi is walk through agricultural market. The Batumi Central Market is mainly indoors, occupying a huge light-filled warehouse. There are two levels. Downstairs is the fresh fruit and veg section, with the butchers out back. Upstairs is for preserves, honey and churchella, with a separate cheese section. You can also find loose leaf tobacco and locally grown tea leaves and lots of coffee and spices. The last few glimpses of Batumi Old City on a gorgeous sunset. And this is the last night in Georgia as well, before I'm heading to Turkey. Well, I will see you on my next adventure. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.